huge beauty haul. Should I start off with my most favorite purchase? Because like I was thinking something, but the Sephora staff was saying something else. Hi, we're fam. Welcome to today's video. Oh my God, I'm so excited for today's video because it is a huge beauty haul. As some of you may know, I spent about five weeks in the US between June and July and had the best time first of all i'm so 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 grateful for being able to do a vacation of that sort i vlogged pretty much every single day and i really hope that you guys are enjoying the entire indian in america series from my us trip 2023 there are playlists for you guys to take a look at in case you want to jump into specific cities i'll go ahead and leave links for everything down below in the description section Today's haul, today's video, as you may know, is a big collection of Sephora and Ulta. Initially, I was considering splitting these two up, but then I realized, you know what, at a lot of these stores now, earlier it used to be only drugstore stuff at Ulta and only high-end stuff at Sephora. Now, it's definitely gotten a little bit mixed up and you see that in what I've purchased from where as well. So, let's not make this intro any longer because I do have Sephora, Ulta and even a little bit of Target uh, beauty shopping to take you through. Let's dive right into it. Hi guys, Edit Anam coming in over here because you guys are obviously beauty lovers, which is why you're watching this video. I wanted to tell you about a very cool new launch that you can get your hands on. This one that I want to tell you about is from today's sponsor. Thank you so much for partnering with me for today's video, Dermaco. I absolutely love this Dermaco 2% Niacinamide Hydrating BB Cream. This comes with SPF 30 PA plus plus and I think that it's such a good formula it's now available in three shades and is perfect for that even skin tone but with that natural dewy finish that we all love so much let me quickly show you what this looks like on my skin I chose the shade nude for myself and it went on so easily you can see what a fantastic shade match it is for someone around my skin tone I'm around an NC42 in case that helps you select your shade. They also have the shades Ivory and Warm Beige, making this a total collection of three shades to choose from. The formula comes enriched with 2% Niacinamide, 1% Hyaluronic Acid Complex and Aquaxil. What I love about it is that it's a very hydrating, natural finish formula, leaves your skin looking and feeling very juicy, very dewy and it's completely fragrance free. Go ahead and use the code ANAM2023 to get 20% off on your order on the Dermaco website. I'm going to be leaving the links down below and of course the product is also also available on Nika, Amazon and Flipkart. Now let's start with the haul. So I did refrain from entering into Sephora's for most part of my trip just because I wanted to shop on the San Francisco leg which was the last leg of the trip but I did order a few products online around the 4th of July sale and had them shipped to my uncle's house in San Francisco which is where we were staying in Fremont. I wanted to make the most of the sales but at the same time not a lot was on sale so literally maybe three or four items were ordered. I'm gonna go in no particular order although I want to try and tell you what I bought online first. Okay, so let's start with the Sephora part of this haul first, then we'll do Ulta and then we'll do Target. I, should I start off with my most favorite purchase, like beauty purchase of this entire trip? I really want to. I like just kicking off on a very, very high note. I bought the GHD Rise Hot Tool. Now this is a hot brush. It's actually not a brush. This is like plastic. It's not like got hair fibers in it. And it's literally what I've done my hair with today. Today I actually did my hair with this as well as some basic um, Velcro rollers that I picked up from Amazon here in India only. But I have been using this for the last leg of the trip all through San Francisco. This is all I used to do my hair. And I was very hesitant when I bought this because I feel like my experience with hair tools has always been hit or just absolute flop miss. This thankfully was on the hit, hit, hit list. I did order this during the 4th of July sale, so I didn't buy this offline in person. This is an online only item. It is for $180, but I paid $140 because of the 4th of July sale. Only about Three or four items were bought around the 4th of July sales, which I ordered online and just shipped to my uncle's house. This was one of them. And in fact, the whole reason I even got online was this brush. I love the Dyson, don't get me wrong, but it takes me a long time to get through the Dyson. Also, you can't take an India Dyson to the US. So that's just something you want to keep in mind. I wanted something I could travel with and give myself that easy blow-dried kind of look. Um, 
in no time hopefully at home i will go ahead and leave a link in to this shorts so over here that i'm so glad i filmed while i was trying this gadget for the first time the very first time ever i was trying it and you will understand why i have grown to love this so much sorry not sorry starting this haul on literally the high the highest 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 note it gets just as good but because i've tried this and i've refrained from diving into anything else over here giving you a little bit of my experience with that product okay i bought about i want to say three or four different foundations the house labs foundation is something that i have heard so much about i've seen people rave about it so much online and uh, got myself one of these i picked it up in the shade 300 medium neutral for myself i did buy this in person so i shade matched but funny story the day i popped this along with two other skin based products which i'll come to in a second um there was a back and forth happening between the sephora staff because i was shade matching myself and they were like you should do this shade and the other one was like you should do this shade and i was like wait i'm just going to decide what to do because both of you are confused so keeping my fingers crossed that my tan and my travel tan which always happens uh has not affected my shade selection in this I will come back to you with an update on that. The same day I picked up this House Labs foundation, I also picked up the much coveted Rare Beauty tinted moisturizer. This is a product again. It's called the Positive Light tinted moisturizer. It comes with broad spectrum SPF 20. I picked it up in the shade 38N. Literally for all of these three base products there was a major up and down on which shade I should buy because like I was thinking something but the Sephora staff was saying something else and then the second person came and she was like completely different shade so really keeping my fingers crossed that all of these work out um and the other base product i picked up is this one it is the laura mercier flawless lumiere radiance perfecting foundation not met a laura mercier base product that i have not loved i have their tinted moisturizer that i use so often and so much the only reason i didn't repurchase that is because i was already buying this tinted moisturizer and you will see how many base products i've picked up in general just keep a count let's say this three right now is quite a few to go even from ulta i bought quite a few so yeah there's that in terms of concealers over here i have two in front of me i picked up the turn up the base concealer from one size beauty by patrick star i picked this up in the shade medium 1 neutral um i have realized that i need to stop going as yellow on my under eyes because they work really well a yellowish tone for me on a day where i'm wearing full coverage foundation or just foundation in general but if i'm doing a tinty day or i'm doing a no base stage is jumping straight into concealer the yellowness starts to show so i'm actually leaning a little bit neutral or even a little bit pink with some tones which is working well in my favor and then i picked up my first ever natasha denona product literally picked this one up because it has this major major creaseless claim and it is starty approved yes glam life guru talked about it in one of her videos actually a few different videos even and i was like you know what i do believe what she says so i went ahead and picked it up again the sales person at sephora wanted me to pick this up in the shade p3 because she wanted me to go for a much more brightened look but i opted for p4 cuz i like that little bit more natural one where i can always mix it up with a lighter one if i want that kind of a beat but my base is usually very very natural that's just my vibe in fact i'm someone who will sometimes select half a shade darker when it comes to my base but i will never go lighter that's just my personal preference um this is the natasha denona high glam concealer and literally on it it says brightening and hydrating crease proof serum concealer that is a claim i'm really really excited to put to the test i know i've heard great things about it i have got tati's uh, approval on this through her videos of course having said that i am someone who does have quite a bit of general creasing and even just fine lines under my eyes so that set in with my deep set eyes is going to be a case study on whether this product works for me or not. Drop a comment and let me know if you guys want me to do a like first impressions YouTube video. I am going to land up filming shorts, reels, vertical content in general, I know that, but let me know if you want me to sit down and do like a full face of glam trying new makeup with you if that's something you're still interested. It's a very old school beauty YouTube kind of video, but 
go ahead and drop a comment and let me know if you'd want me to do that. Okay, then I picked up this It Cosmetics uh, Color Correcting Full Coverage Cream. Again, this comes with anti-aging, hydrating serum and broad spectrum SPF 50 with UVA and UVB protection. It is a physical sunscreen in it. Um, I bought a mini version because I wasn't sure if this was going to work for me, not work for me. I am someone who typically buys the full size products over the minis just because I feel like they're more value for money. Having said that, I have to say that the mini was on sale during 4th of July and the full size wasn't. So I was like, okay, let's just give this a go and get the mini. Two more products that I purchased from that 4th of July sale. Um, I, for the first time, actually have bought both of them. I got a Pearly Girl Vegan Teeth Whitening Pen. This is from Tarte. I have heard about this, like I've heard good things about this and I was a little bit curious, so I went ahead and purchased this. I'm thinking I should do like a shorts video and show you guys a first impressions of something like this. I've actually never used a teeth whitening pen at all, ever. Of course, I go for cleanups every once in a while, but I have never done like a whitening pen kind of a thing. So there you have that. And for the first time, I bought a body brush. This is a Sephora body brush. If I remember correctly, I paid about 10-ish dollars for this. I know I'm throwing up like prices on the screen, so you know how close I probably am from memory or not. Um, this is just a body brush I picked up from Sephora. The main reason I bought this is because sometimes when you are like out and about, in party mode, wearing something short, or even if you're just at the beach and I want to wear like body oil, I don't necessarily love to dip my hands into everything. If there is one thing you know about my makeup, tutorials and just like makeup habits me I guess is that I'm someone who doesn't love to go in with the hand I'm like really really hygiene conscious and um, when I saw this on the website I was like you know what it's time to get into body brushes that's where I'm at when I ordered a bunch of these things online during the 4th of July sale I also got the option to get a free birthday gift because I was ordering it like around my birthday and I had not redeemed my birthday gift from Sephora, something they do annually, I guess. I selected this Way gift set for myself. I am actually really looking forward to trying Way because I've heard so much about it and I haven't used any of their products before. I think I've like seen their products at different Sephora's around the world, but I don't think I ever purchased anything way. So we have a mini perfume. I think it's a hair perfume. We have a detox shampoo, body cleanser and a leave-in conditioner. I just really love the packaging of this. You cannot buy this as is from Sephora. These you can only get when you're redeeming your rewards and birthday gift and things like that. I actually got one more item like this in Sephora offline because while I was shopping so much over there, I got upgraded to VIB Rouge. I should have been on VIB Rouge earlier, which is like their highest, I believe, level tier of customers. Um, but I was switching between two customer profiles is what I realized. So now I'm on one and I got an upgrade. So I was super happy about that. I, when I was shopping at the last Sephora, which was in San Francisco City, um, they offered me a gift box for Living Proof products. And I took that because I was actually buying another Living Proof dry shampoo for my aunt who really liked it when she used mine and that had this and a few other products. I obviously can't show you that because I left that behind for her and uh, while I was buying one more, the gift box came with this and about, I want to say three other living proof products. So there's a lot of benefits to being on there, like higher customer tiers, which I really appreciate. Um, you can either take the free products or you can get like a certain amount of dollars off from your order, depending on what you opt for. Which brings me to this and a couple of other items, to be honest, which really get you at the exit aisles in Sephora, like at the checkout aisles. Uh, minis, I was looking for Living Proof in Ulta and I couldn't find it. So I was happy to spot this in Sephora. This is the Living Proof Dry Shampoo. You guys know I'm a dry shampoo girl. I only wash my hair about once a week. And... Uh, I dry shampoo my hair about once or twice in the middle of the week because I don't have a very oily scalp. I actually have maybe actually a more dry scalp if I'm being perfectly honest. This product and brand comes super highly recommended from a whole lot of YouTubers that I follow. So got that one over here. I'm yet to use it like myself. I also in those checkout aisles where you have so many minis to choose from picked up this Hourglass Unlocked Mascara. Um, again, one that I've heard of. Everything that I picked up are things that I have heard or seen good reviews of because I'm someone that doesn't just randomly pick up products based on the brand. Um, I, I, I think that I just like to do a little bit of research on what I'm spending my money on, obviously. And especially because I know I'm shopping in the US and I'm not 
going to get a bunch of these products back home. I had a running list in any case of things that I knew I absolutely had to buy even before going into the Sephora. And then over here from Fenty Skin from their clean earth conscious range, this was an impulse buy. Wow, what a timing to tell you. This was an impulse buy. I saw this in the checkout aisles. This is their butter drop whipped body cream again i have heard about this but i wasn't intending to buy it but it was a cute mini it was well priced and i said you know what checkout aisle is having an impulse little moment with me and i picked this up i love the packaging of this and i'm looking forward to the formula haven't tried it as yet apart from the gift boxes that i told you about i also got a few samples free i have this Chanel Mascara Volume and Care Lash Primer sample that I got free with my shopping. I got this Alpine Beauty Wildcraft Actives Moisturizer. This I know came online in that 4th of July package. This also came in the same package. It is the EDT version, a little travel sized Dior Sauvage. Okay, it's time for the last few products from Sephora before we move on to the other platforms. I have used and loved Gizzo products for hair before. I have their hair shampoo, I have their conditioner and uh, also the hair perfume. Sorry, I meant to say hair perfume shampoo and conditioner. And I really like them. I think that they make great products and I'm all for supporting influencer brands because I do believe influencers can make great products and brands. Hint, hint. <laughs> So I picked up three Gizu products from the Sephora in um, San Francisco main city. I have the honey infused hair mask over here. I came back to India about 10 days ago. I've been very, very sick, which is why I haven't been able to reach in and do this haul sooner. But when I did go in to wash my hair, I really wanted to just go ahead and open this and use it for the first time. I really had to control and hold back. So when I wash my hair next over the next three days, I guess this is going to come back out and I'm finally going to get to use it. I also picked up the prep Prime Defined. This is a Propolis infused polishing primer. I believe this is great for heat protection as well as styling, like priming your hair uh, before you go ahead and style it so your hairstyle will last longer. This is something I'm really excited about because I don't know if you can tell right now, but there's definitely some amount of static and frizz that has kicked back into my hair which I did not have on this trip at all even though we were in like New York and San Francisco LA humid cities it wasn't like here in the monsoons and I feel like my hair has completely gone for a toss I've worked really hard on it today um, so I'm looking forward to unboxing this and trying it and then the last product I picked up from Gisu is this leave-in conditioner again I'm all about giving my hair that extra nourishment helping remedy off the frizz as much as possible and um, just giving it that boost of moisture as and when I can. So picked up full sizes of everything, very excited to use them. This pretty much ends the Sephora part of the haul. It's time for part two. Let's get into Ulta because I did shop quite a bit from Ulta as well. <laughs>